On January 29, 2015, on the occasion of the World Money Fair, we, the Auction House Kunkka, are going to auction off a special collection featuring coins and medals from Saxony in auction sale number 258. We would like to show you a couple of these pieces by telling you the story of the most famous Saxon ruler, August the Strong. On May 12, 1670, August was born as the son of Saxon elector John George III. It was not for him to rule. His eldest brother, John George IV, succeeded his father to the throne in 1691. The young man, however, died only three years later, possibly of smallpox, although back then many people rumored that August had him poisoned. This medal was minted in commemoration of the death of John George IV. On the reverse, it depicts a death that resorts to the latest technology. Holding a winged hourglass in his left hand, he ignites a mortar, the rising projectile of which detonates in the air. That was how August came to power in 1694. He expressed his self-conception on the medals. Here we see him as the Saxon Hercules, holding the club with the lion skin girt at his hips. The local connection is established not only by the coat of arms, but by the buildings of the city of Dresden in the background as well. The pectoral muscles of Hercules can make any bodybuilder turn green with envy. As a matter of fact, August was proud of his strength. His nickname, The Strong, was rather fitting. The Dresden Kunstkammer still exhibits a horseshoe the elector is said to have broken with his bare hands. Reducing Hercules merely to his physical strength, though, wouldn't do him justice. In Baroque times, he was deemed the embodiment of an ideal ruler who shuns no labor in order to bring happiness to his country. Happiness, of course, being relative. August the Strong celebrated himself as absolutistic ruler. This three ducat piece from 1696, which was certainly intended to serve as a diplomatic present, he wears the elector's vestment consisting of ermine coat, electoral sword, and electoral hat. His appearance on the coin perfectly matched his policy. With his quite wide-ranging economic reforms, he primarily wanted to generate the means required for his great power aspirations. Soon, the European stage offered the Saxon elector the chance to distinguish himself internationally. On September 15, 1697, the Saxon elector was crowned Polish king. To mark this occasion, our medal was issued. Hercules liked from tip to toe, August the Strong is armored, with the lion skin in addition. He supports the club on the seven-headed hydra, which refers to the opposition against which he had to carry an election through. Polonia, dressed in a flowing garment, appears and offers him the crown. Roughly contemporary is a satirical medal on the most radical opponent of August, Prince Conti, candidate of the French king. It shows the prince in back view, commanding a group of pikemen. The pikemen were a carefully chosen topic. They use iron-headed staves and pointed poles, translates the quote of Virgil that serves as inscription here. The Latin term for pole or pike, contis, is a kind of pun with the name of the prince. What he would have faced if he had not withdrawn from the fight is illustrated on the reverse of the medal. The Königstein Fortress was used by the Saxons, amongst other things, as state prison. The Polish adventure cost the Saxon population a pretty penny. Allegedly, bribe money amounting to 39 million Reichsdaler has been spent to win August the Strong enough votes. He, on the other hand, never succeeded in putting his absolutistic plans into practice in Poland. He had formed an alliance with Peter the Great of Russia. By combining their efforts, they hoped to divest Charles XII, who had only recently ascended to the throne, of a part of his Swedish kingdom. The young man, however, proved to be a military genius. He successfully compelled the Polish to depose August. This happened in 1706. To the Saxon elector, this was an incredible humiliation. How to deal with this reduction in rank concerning the coins? This Reichstaller from 1709 illustrates how. Its inscription reads in translation, Augustus, by the grace of God, King and Prince Elector. 
albeit what he was king of, his coinage keeps silent on. The monogram of Augustus Rex is not commented on either. In 1709, the Russians defeated Charles of Sweden at Poltava. Peter the Great reinstated August as Polish king. With that, August was no longer an ally on an equal footing, but a puppet king who was granted the title, but was not remotely able to put his absolutistic plans into action in Poland. Thus, August the Strong transferred his ambitions from politics to representation. Under him, Dresden was enlarged to become Florence on the Elbe, one of the most stately cities in Europe. Its Winger Palace and the gardens provided the location for glamorous festivals. The most glamorous of all was celebrated on the occasion of his son's wedding with Archduchess Maria Josepha of Austria in 1719. On the European major event that was celebrated almost the entire September, the elector spent four million taler. He organized operas and balls, a horse roundabout, and equestrian games. The event also included a crossbow shooting contest, which is recalled by this extraordinary hexagonal Reichstallerklippe. On the reverse, it depicts six crossbow bolts arranged in the form of a star. What such a shooting contest looked like is illustrated by this dollar clippa from 1714 that was awarded to the victors in the competition. The inscription says, To whom who aims best on this February 8, 1714. In the center of a large demarcated field, a large tree was set up that was crowned by a bird. This bird had to be shot down in order to win the prize. Today, August the Strong's fame is not so much due to his successes or failures in foreign policy. Tour guides love him because his countless affairs, just think of Maria Aurora of Königsmark or the Countess of Kozel, are the stuff for anecdotes. August the Strong died at the age of 62 at Warsaw in 1733. There he was buried in the presence of his son in the royal crypt in the Wawel Cathedral. We from Kunka are pleased to invite you to our Berlin Sale 2015. We welcome you to join our Auction 258 on Thursday, January 29, 2015. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.